Hey, it's your boy Sid. It's your boy Dis. We in here together. Thoughts from your boy. Check us out. Peace. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. You know who we are. We your boys. Thoughts from your boys. Ah. I'm your host, This Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional's World. I'm your boy, Say, a.k.a. your boy, Say. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk about... Hold on. Let me, get the, let me get the topic just right. Uh-oh. Go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. I'm just saying, y'all. We got a good one for you. We're going to see. We're going to... All right. What we talking about tonight, man? What is the difference uh -huh. in a male order bride and a woman born in the United States? White version, then the black version. Mm. So what's the difference? Ooh, okay, okay. We're we, we going to kick it off like this. What's Let's the go. difference between a male order bride mm -hmm. and a woman born in the United States? Tackle that first. Okay, so let's start with that. So male order bride versus a woman born in the United States. Yes. Okay, so male order bride, we all know, is just what it says. A bride that comes from overseas. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like picking out a catalog almost, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, cause you know, it's like really organizations or, or, or businesses where you can go to get this, like it's legal. You know what I'm saying? This stuff is legal. So that's pretty much what it is. And these, these particular male or the brides and the women who uh, sign up for it, understand what get chosen, what don't get chosen. Let's say that, you see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. Especially when they signing up to deal with American men, they know, you know what I'm saying? What it takes to get chose and what it what it doesn't take to get chose. So that's that's on the on the male order side. On the American side, we already know what that is because most of us was born here. So we already know how, you know what I'm saying, the women here act. In in comparison. In comparison. Let me say I, that. I guess, okay. Let me let me jump in there for a second. Okay. So what 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 the person was asking uh -huh. is really what's the difference between Okay. Um, and, and let me let me try let me see if I can break it down. Oh, okay. I, 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 like, to... I like where you were going. Well, okay. Uh -huh. it, was, it was on the edge. Oh, right, right. I'm about to jump all the way off. All right. So, <laughs> I'm a male order bride to keep cool. is a woman who's already pre-raised to cater, submit, and be a wife to a man. Right. And right. all the things, and, and those are the capacities that she's raised in. It's being a Absolutely. wife, uh -huh. being submissive, mm -hmm. and being the homemaker homemaker right we don't say that's the key because it's a lot of american women they're not homemakers no more they're too busy being independent boss bitches boss bitches they don't need a man well they're not saying they need one but to help their families and to get them out of their situation they sign up for these male order right it's, it's pretty much no different than the indian culture because someone they, they threw the indian culture in on me too mm -hmm. it's no different it's a little different. It's a little different than the arranged marriages that the Indian culture does. Mm -hmm. But American women don't do none of those things. And we're not downing them or bad-mouthing them. No, I'm just not saying. At all, not at all. Women today don't raise their daughters to be wives. They raise their daughters to not need a man. Oh, absolutely. They raise them to be independent. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and what I'm going to say is one of the main differences between a male order bride and a U.S. born woman is the male order bride is just more submissive. Much more. All the way around, right? Much That's more. pretty much what it comes down to in every aspect, right? So, like you said, you want home, a woman to be a woman, maker, you want a man to be a man, right? You want the traditional, more submissive, and like you said, they was raised to be like that. They was raised to be like that. That's just one of the differences. Cultural, you know what I'm saying? It's a cultural difference. Um, and well. Let me retract a little bit. Not, okay. not necessarily a cultural difference because at one point women here were taught that. At one point. At one point. So that's yeah. why that's why I had to reel it back and say yeah, it's not yeah, necessarily yeah, a yeah. cultural difference. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily a cultural difference. But y'all get what I'm saying. So that's what it I'm gonna say. Just more submissive. It, it's definitely now become more of a cultural difference. Absolutely, the, because the, the it's not being, taught here anymore. Right. It's not they're not trained like that, if you want to call it trained. And I say trained because men, young men are trained. Hmm. And it's not like, hey, come here. Oh, yes, sir. One, two. No, but from from a father teaching his son, it's a form of training. Now, the son may not know that, but the dad know what he's doing. You see what I'm saying? It's systematic training. 
Okay, I know that I got to teach my son how to fight, but in order for him to fight, I got to make sure his stamina is up. So I need to make sure he's in some sort of shape. You see what I'm saying? This is step by step. You see what I'm saying? So this is it's a training. And I didn't necessarily mean like a boot camp where he's telling his son, give me 20 pushes or nothing like that. But when you're teaching your son or, or, or your daughter, it's a, um, a protocol that you may necessarily want to, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't going to just teach him how to throw an overhand right if he can't throw a jab. You could. I mean, you could, but, but it's pointless. That, that might be the only thing he good at. Yeah, but... It, it may not be pointless. It's pointless. When you it's, look at Chuck Liddell, that's what somebody taught him. Okay, but the exception doesn't disprove the okay, rule. Okay. It proves true, the rule. True, you true, know what I'm saying? True, true. <laughs> so, you know, true. it's one of those things, but you get what I'm saying. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So... But uh, I, I would like to say that I think it's more cultural for the simple fact that... Like you said, nowadays, absolutely. because yeah, women aren't... Hard. I ain't gonna say train because I don't want them to feel like they am. And that's why I, that's why I changed it up too and switched it to the men like, so they wouldn't say that. Typically, white wealthy men mm -hmm. purchase men with a bride. Black men they get a something similar to a male with a bride, but not not like one. They go to the military, and when they get stationed in these different countries, they'll meet them a lady from that country. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. bring her back home and marry her. And now he has the same thing pretty much as a male with a bride, except because he's Americanized and he's not a traditional man, he's going to show her some non traditional ways to be a woman. She's not only going to be his, his sexual fantasy, she's not only going to be his wife and mother of his kids, but he, he'll put her in a position so that she can make money by herself. But you've got. Um, I would agree with that because a male or the bride is going to automatically get on a man's page. Automatically. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is that he's going to, you know, try to have her do, she's going to be willing to at least try to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because once again, that's how they was raised. That's how they she were don't taught go back to do. Home. Right. And she, right. She don't want to go back home because in their mind, going back home is mm -hmm. way worse than doing, being submissive to this man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't trying to sound controversial, y'all, but just think about how they live over there. So they're looking at it like, okay, this uh, westernized man or this American, or, or wherever he may come from, he don't come from where she lives at. Mm -hmm. He can provide a, a better lifestyle than what she has. So she like, hey, rather than go back home and deal with whatever it might be, I'd rather stay here and do this. And like he said, it's normally those, those wealthy men, you know what I'm saying, who want uh, a trophy wife or what have you, whatever it might be. One of those things, though. But we all know that um, those particular sites ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like those particular businesses that that, that sell that particular service, I mean, they're not going out. Of, right? They're not going out of Bitcoin, business. As long as Bitcoin's still around, so, it's a lot of stuff that ain't never gonna go nowhere. Hey man, it, it just is what it is, and people got to realize that. Um, no, you can't jump on the black web as easy as you used to. Right. Right. But <laughs> there's still a way to get on there. Hmm, hmm, and if hmm, you got hmm, enough hmm. Bitcoin. Or what, or what have you, you know. A little off uh, topic. Oh, right. Um, I was watching something, and a dude had Bitcoin way back in the day, before before it blew up and became anything. Mm -hmm. And he had like 25,000 Bitcoin. And he, he put an ad out, if you could give me money to get food and a place to stay for my family tonight, I will trade you this 25,000 Bitcoin. Mm. He did it. 20 years later, not even 20, probably 12. 12 years later, 25,000 Bitcoin is worth a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. Way more than a room and a meal. Right, a place to stay is way more than that. Damn. Damn, homie. <laughs> 12 years ago, you was the man, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even know you had to wave your hand, homie. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, that's crazy. But, okay, so... I wonder, like, okay, since we're talking about the male or the bride, right? Let's speak about it from, from that side. From you what know what I'm saying? From, from the overseas side. Okay. Are the men overseas looking to marry a woman over here? No. But they'll come over here and make their money. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. And take care of their home. And, right, and run it back. Yeah. But it's the men here that want the male or the brides from over there. From over there, right. 
because men there they don't have they don't have the they don't have the finances to to afford right. a, a woman of whatever caliber a male or the bride looks like. She's mm. only given the way to the highest bidder. Or maybe I wonder if male or the bride service exists over there for them. It probably doesn't. I I wouldn't think so either. But I mean, even if it did, they they probably couldn't afford it unless they're like a, a high po uh, political person in their country. Right, right, right. But if okay, they're not, they're okay, not a high okay. political person, mm. they work just like everybody else work. Right. Well, <laughs> male or the bride on their level, <laughs> like an Amazon bride. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, you don't know. We don't talk about wow. Amazon, bro. Oh. <laughs> but no, like they're not. They're not into that. Just like you know, like the Indians, they they do arranged marriages. Right, right. A lot of countries do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We don't do that. No. Well, white people. Well, do, white people do shotgun marriages. Okay, but people all also do. Hey, I got a I got a son. You know what I'm saying? You got a daughter. And they try to bring them together, especially non-blacks. Let's say that. <laughs> non-blacks do that a lot. Hey, I got a nephew. Hey, I got a niece. Oh, she's a junior in college. Oh, he's a senior about to graduate. Oh, really? Ta-da. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and we, because we all know that once again, non-blacks, most of the time married for business. It is a business. It's a business. And as a matter of fact, a lot of blacks now are doing that. Yeah. Marrying for a business. Yeah. So we, we know it ain't nothing for them to arrange it. Not yeah. in the eyes of the public, though. Behind closed doors, they, you know what I'm saying, they'll move the chess pieces. Yeah. To make them magically meet. I can see that. You know, it's one of those things. Um, y'all make sure y'all tap in, let us know, subscribe, like button, share button, all that good stuff. Shout out Delta. First one to uh, subscribe. Shout out Delta. Shout Tanya. out to you. So uh, we appreciate that. Tanya. Tanya, big shout out. Big That's shout out to Tanya. Oh yeah. Uh, so we, we who appreciate else that. Who jumped on the channel so far? Uh, we got a few. We got a few people who, who jumping in. Hey, look, thank y'all all for y'all subscribes. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We, we appreciate. We that. appreciate it. We gonna keep doing the thing for y'all. Yep. Um, do you want to end the conversation there? Nah, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Let's okay. we go. Let's let's keep pushing a little bit. I mean because. With the male order thing, it can go it can go deep. Okay, so let's say you get a male order bride, and she's over here for three, four years, right? And gets Americanized. Right. Exactly. Then it go left. Then they just you know, go left. But she, what she you do then? Her green card by then. Right. Well, I mean, it take five years, don't it? Three. It's three years. I oh, it might be five, but I thought I think it's three. Okay, so three years. I know they check up on you for five years. Right. Right. But it only take three years to get a green card. Damn. So she cool for those three years. You know what I'm saying? She doing everything or whatever. Then after that, wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? She should start tripping on you. But so, she's still not going to act like an American woman. Because there's certain stuff that they just don't do over there. True. That yes. even if she come over and hang out with a, a bunch of American women for two whole weeks solid, she's still not going to pick up those traits. No. Okay. But what if she hang out with... A bunch of women from her home country who've been here for a while and become Americanized. I'm talking about they've been that here way, 10, 15, 20 years. They may still speak the language. So she feel comfortable watching them and picking up their ways. That, now that's possible. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's cool. And, 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 and we still talking about high end folks. We ain't talking about, you know what I'm saying, thoughts and all that. We're talking about cool. the upper folks who still, because we know they get ratchet too. Yeah. They just do it in a rich way. They do. So, yeah. Hey, open up, please. Oh no problem, man. Come on, hey man. Y'all know y'all know how we do it. Okay. Uh huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's just what we're doing, y'all. I mean, and then um, also, can you send a male or the bride back? Yes. You can. Yes. So it's like, do you get your money back? You just get another bride. Oh snap. Yeah, I should choose another one. You're like, oh, you don't like this one? Okay, for you, buddy, cheapest price, cheapest price, my friend. <laughs> like that'll be. That'd be crazy. You send it back. No, I know a white guy. I know a white guy that had a male or the bride, and she just didn't like him. Oh, she didn't like him. Yeah. Mm. Like it, it wasn't amount, one amount of money. Mm -hmm. It was just him. She just didn't like she him. Didn't like him. It was him. And so he's like, "I'm not gonna deal with this. I'll send you back." And she's like, "No, no, 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 I go back." Man. So he sent her back. 
Well, you know. Same plane that she got on to get here, he put on the same thing to go back home. See, so for her, she was just trying to make a little bit of money. It wasn't that bad where she was from, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that, that's just her hustle. Do you think the male or the bride, do you think they, they, they parents sell them? Or do you think they, they get kidnapped and then put into this mm, house? I think both. Because, you know, that... that um, both? Yeah, meaning, like, and I don't even want to say it because I don't know the regulations on there, but that blank trafficking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, is real. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's big. So a lot of times it could be through that. A lot of times it can be their parents, you know what I'm saying, who like, hey, I want my baby to have, you know, or, or maybe they want uh, grandkids. So they got jealous ambitions and shit like that, you know, <laughs> living by carefully through your kids. <laughs> so they, you know what I'm saying, they go ahead and do it. So, yeah, it could be a lot of stuff. It could be a lot of stuff. But it's it's it got to be something more than just like straight up because that business is thriving and booming and has been. Because when I thought about it, when it was when, when the original question was asked to me, mm -hmm. I was like, only places I know that really do that still are the Vietnamese, Chinese, Taiwanese, the the Asian. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if the Russians still do it, but I know the Asians definitely still do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what you see the most of. But you know they they advertise that all on you know online and stuff like that. You <laughs> see the ads popping up for you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You know, you do. You, you see, I mean, you actually see the ads when you, you know, you might be screaming like, "What? Okay, how did you get to that?" But it's gonna yeah. be on our phones later, right? And that's crazy. That's Asian, crazy. They you an Asian site, right? You a... I mean, but what's what's crazy is in this country, uh, and once again, I don't know <laughs> the regulations. So, six work, S I X work. You know, what I'm talking about six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. six work has has become very popular amongst young ladies, amongst young women. It's almost like the stuff that they've been doing overseas yeah. is over here now, and it's just as wide open as it is over there. Mm, maybe. Well, I mean, not to that point, because, you know, they have legal right. brothels and all that other stuff. Right, right, so, right, right, right. Like right. I said, here, but it's almost to that point, because remember we talked about the hypersexuality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And all this uh, openness and... Yeah, I mean, all that kind of stuff. I was about to say something. That's why I kind of paused right there. But um, the male or the bride industry itself is a it's booming, booming industry. Yeah. Yeah. It's a booming industry that also goes to show you that it's a lot of lonely people out there. Mm -hmm. People are willing to pay for love. People are willing to sell themselves for love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like, hey, and, and those are the people who are using it for a good reason. You know what I'm saying? Not for nothing, you know, dangerous or, or something like that, profitable. Mm. Well, I guess people do profit from it. I don't mean money-wise. Yeah, they, they do. You know, but if a man uh, is lonely, he got the bread, he get him a wife, he just profited. You know what I'm saying? Because now he's not lonely no more. Maybe he'll be more productive and make more money. That's legally. what they say. That's what, they say. That's what that book says. Mm. That you get mm -hmm. you a wife, mm -hmm. you get you a life, or you get you, you know, something of that nature. I don't know the exact word. <laughs> no quote me. Right. <laughs> no quote me. Right. Bro, mm, I mean, I guess you're right. You know, the uh, that industry is booming, and like I said, the 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 training, mm -hmm. mm, the teaching, the teaching of that little girl versus the teaching of an American little girl is just so it's different. It's on so many different levels. Yes, and we can't say one is better or one is worse. I guess it all comes down to what, what you, you believe, like, yeah. right? And your preference and stuff mm -hmm. like that. As far and we talk about as far as like uh the the male lord or the American woman. I guess, you know, if you if you don't want to argue with nobody ever, you want somebody to always be a yes man, yes woman, hmm. get a man order. Right. Absolutely. So if you want somebody that's gonna give you a little struggle here and there, that's gonna help <laughs> build you, push you, push you when you down, motivate you to get up, mm -hmm. you might want to stick with an American. Right, right. But, you know, if you got enough money and a headache is not what you want to deal with because you don't have to, then get right. your mail work. Right. But if you want a companion, not someone that's just going to have babies for you and love you hmm. and never and never express their mind on what, what makes them happy, what makes them sad, you know. I mean, 
Bark like a dog. Arf, arf. <laughs> a big dog. You know what I'm talking about? Wolf. Right. <laughs> Y'all seen the movie. Y'all seen the movie. So mm. I'm just saying. And it's funny how that was okay because it was a comedy. Mm-hmm. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. That was okay. It was a comedy. Because he he did straight car that. Right. In so but, many other words. Right. Right. Now that you put it like that. Yeah. And, and, and once again, though, it was okay because it was, it was understood that one is a comedy, and two, that's the culture of well, the women over there. It's a lot of things that's okay when you make a comedy out of it, like Woody, and especially when you use Woody Allen. Woody Allen, Woody Allen is a, is a perfect person to Absolutely. to to be the candidate or, or spokesperson for this topic because mm-hmm. he ain't got him three, three, really? three Asians. Damn, and they was all male order. I think the first one was a mail order, and then two of them were his stepdaughters. Now, I knew, yeah, I heard about one of them. Damn. Did he marry like 15, 16, or something? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. something young. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's different. You know, that's. Mm. I mean, but if you look back in time, that's how it was back in the day anyway. They just, they just weren't mail ordered. Right. They, right. Were, they were pushed off. Well, to meet an older man to take care of him. Well, some of the some of the greatest musicians, you know what I'm saying, Elvis. Just saying. Yeah. She was young. You know what I'm talking about? She was young, like a teenage young. A lot of those dudes did it. I don't know why they all did that. So, you know, you Richie, have to Richie Valentine or Richie uh what's his, what's his last name? Was it Valentine? Yeah. I know probably, the, sing, the singer. So. The singer the singer named Richie Valentine, but the real name is something else. But yeah, he married a young girl. I'm, I'm, who he married? He married uh, a young girl he went to high school with. I mean, I think they were about the same age. Oh, so she, uh, wasn't famous, no, she, she wasn't famous okay. though. No, she wasn't famous. Okay. Jerry Lee Lewis, he married his cousin. She was 13. Damn. Uh, Damn. <laughs> uh, so, and, and mail order was around at that time. So they could have they could have went and got a mail order instead of marrying. R. Kelly married a Lee when she was 16. Mm, mm, mm. mm. Uh, it's been around, and you could have went and got your mail on, and not been in trouble. And I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> instead of marrying a teenager, you know, if, he, if, if they would have stayed married, he probably wouldn't have gotten in trouble. He probably would have just had Aaliyah. You think so? I don't think so. But, Until they broke know, up. No, I'm saying he would have been satisfied with just her. All that other stuff came afterwards. Way after. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't, I'm, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, though, but like when he first got popped on the scene, mm-hmm. he had women his own age. He was like 20. They were 20 year old. Right. He met Aaliyah. He was supposed to be like a scene teacher to her. Right, right. And then that happened. Right, but you hear a lot of people say that they had been seeing him with young girls. To, yeah, with young girls his whole career. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't want to speak bad on that man name or nothing, you know. But I'm just saying, though, like, he seemed like he was really into that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like, just like, just like, I found it, I found it to be terrible when I heard Jay-Z had a live before uh, Dame did. No, and that's, that was a weird story, too, because I'm not, never sure on how that went. You know what I'm saying? I heard that he tried to holler while he was dating him. Why she, even while she was dating him. Who, Dame? Yeah. They ain't trying to holler at Jay, uh, Aaliyah while... No, I don't know if it was the other way around. It probably... If Jay tried to holler at Aaliyah while no. she was talking to Dane. I heard she hollered at Jay before Dane. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so many stories. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. But that's they, crazy, but, they, but they were too old to be dating her, too, then. She wasn't nothing but, like, Good 17, point. 18. Yeah, 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 I mean... And Jay, Jay but, but ain't no spring chicken around his joint. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying it to be, you know, derogatory or anything, but I know if I go try to holler at a woman that's can't get that right now. Hmm. It's all good. See, that was the spirit. That was the spirit telling you not to say whatever the issue okay. was about to all say. Right. Okay, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. What that was. Man. All she right. Said, Ring. Right. <laughs> Oh, but a male like <coughs> that 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 trend or that that thing has been going on for years. That's all I'm saying. 
The Vikings did it. The Romans did it. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, this has been going on before. Right, right. So Joseph did it to Mary. She she was, like, 16. I don't know. She's been grown. They don't, yeah, because I don't, I don't think they say her age. I don't, I don't I think they, they, they paraphrase it, but mm-hmm. she wasn't a grown woman. Mm-hmm. Once again, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm sure Tanya watched the video and I'll hear from Tanya because Tanya knows the Bible. And what she don't know, she go look it up and find it for you. That's, that's what's up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did, did you know there's a part of the Bible about women's, uh, Cycle. No, I didn't know that. I read it. I didn't believe it either. She gave me a verse and a chapter, and I read it, and it wasn't the right one. Mm-hmm. And then she found one that did the right one. It's uh, Leviticus chapter 15, verse 19, I think. And it says, You shouldn't touch her or something, she's unclean. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. From here. Yeah, I've heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Yeah. And she told me that they used to go to caves all together and, and hang out in caves until it would pass. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's real crazy. Yeah, that yeah, that is. It's different. I mean, but you know, maybe that's what they did back, you know, back in the day. But the doubt about as crazy is somebody saying that they should get paid more when they go to work. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that crazy. It's about that crazy. So it's about that crazy. It's about that crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's about that crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> she said she said you're not supposed to work on that day either as a woman. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Like for real. Don't I mean because they know they're not gonna be feeling well and you know what I'm saying stuff like that. Now for those who can, you know, if you feel like you want to, go ahead. But, you know, I, I can see why they wouldn't want to work on that day. For real. You know? Mm-mm. I can only imagine. I only want to imagine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Nick. I'm just going to drink that. I'm, gonna... I'm just saying. Mm-mm. Love y'all, ladies. We love y'all. We love y'all. But, yeah, so... What do y'all think about mail order brides? What do y'all think? You know, about if you had brides? the money, would you get a mail order bride? Male or female? Because I think they sell males too now, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Get your so, yes, man. With, right. Um, do what you say. And... Watch the clip where the lady said she want a man who's just who just going to be there with her. Literally. He don't have to do nothing. Nothing. Don't work or anything. She just want a man who's going to be beside her. Literally. Because she do like a whole bunch of stuff. She was a... Um, Superintendent of a high school and wouldn't that be the same as this, this? I guess. I mean, I guess if he convinced her as opposed to her ah, wanting okay. that, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like she just want a, a warm body, you know what I'm saying? A man. <laughs> That's it. And she said this on national television. I'm like, oh, okay. But you'd be surprised the things you hear now. You know. I guess she yeah. didn't want to deal with none of the BS. She just wanted somebody to do, you know, do what they do and travel with her. And just stand next to her while she, while she, you know, be the spotlight. And you play the back. I'm like, man. There's a lot want, of men that can't do that, though. She want a bum. That's what she want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that man, that type, mm mm-hmm. No, no. Who, gonna, who wants to do that? Nobody trying to do that. Pride. Oh, good point. Good point. A male order, a male order hubby. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. At the wire, you he type. looking at He looking at it like this is a come up. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. My mom and dad always said I was going to be lazy. I wasn't going to make none of myself. And now look what I did. I got a $5.6 billion woman in my in my, in my left pocket. Right. My hands in my right pocket. And we good. <laughs> and something happened to her tomorrow, I'm in her wheel. But I ain't going to make nothing happen to her. I'm just living the I'm life. I'm just living right. I'm just going to live off of her. Hmm. Man, That's got to be nice. I don't know. Huh. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know if I could like take commands from a woman that I'm supposed to be caring about. Like she could tell me certain stuff, and I ain't gonna say tell. Like mm-hmm. she could suggest certain things mm-hmm. or ask me to do certain things, but I don't know about that dictation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dictate to me what we doing. 
I ain't telling you. Put your clothes on. Let's go. We can talk about it. You want your kid? Right. We can talk about it. Put your kid on me. My opinion. That's how it go. Hmm. So what y'all think about Mel or the grass? What's the rules for that? If y'all know something that we didn't talk about. What's some of the rules about having a male or the bride or, or trying to get a male or the bride? And are they still refundable? <laughs> if they are, <laughs> please put that in the comments. Right, if you know that. And that's weird. And also, what, <laughs> what do you think some of, the, some of the differences are between American a male or the bride? Women. Yeah, American women and a male, male or the bride. bride. Yeah. What do y'all think some of the differences are that we didn't talk about? Or maybe if you there, want to extend on not, something. They, they, were not in, 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 they were not educated upon, so we didn't speak on. Right. What further information do you have that we should share next time? Yeah. Hey, I'm your host, oh, This Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional World. I'm your boy, Said, a.k.a. your boy, Said. Hey, it's been real. It's been nice. Peace. Peace.